Infelizmente, está acabando a décima semana da Geologia da UFMG, evento organizado pelo CPGEL e pelo Menino Júnior, com o tema da evolução do pensamento geológico. Eu converso hoje com o Mr. Fossen, nosso palestrante internacional, geólogo estruturalista. So, good night, Mr. Fossen. Uh, I'd like to know if you have ever been to Brazil or enjoying our city, Belo Horizonte. Yes, I've certainly been to Brazil, but I've never been to Belo Horizonte. And it's a, it's a very nice experience. I'm um, very pleased to be here. It's and a, a good city. I'm impressed by what I've seen, the beautiful environments around the university and the lake here. And uh, yes, and the climate is perfect for me yeah. now. <laughs> That's good. Uh, and what about, let me think, about geology speaking. Uh, what do you think about Brazil or just Belo Horizonte? Well, Brazil in general is a very exciting country when it comes to geology, both onshore and offshore, with the, the oil fields and possibilities to find, find more oil. But, but also onshore, there, there are so many very exciting uh, things to explore and to map and discover, which is different from many other countries where geology has been explored to a much greater detail. Uh, which are the most interesting, Brazilian or Norwegian rocks? <laughs> well, that's a hard question. I mean, you have a much bigger country, but um, at least some of, actually many of the things in, in geology in, uh, is, are, are in many ways similar. We have a continental margin where we find oil and gas. Uh, we have uh, an on onshore geology that is strongly influenced by what's called the Caledonian orogeny, a collision between two continents. So, uh, and this is, this is in many ways similar to what you have in Brazil. You just have much more of it. So what, what are your impressions about UFMG? Um, I've only been here a couple of days, but I mean, the, the campus here is, is wonderful. The facilities, the buildings, the auditoriums, and, uh, and especially the people. I mostly met students, and I'm, I'm, I'm very happy and, uh, and impressed by by the, this week that you have put together in a very professional way. So I'm, I really have enjoyed being here. Mm, do you have similar events on the universities abroad? Well, I wish that we, I could say that we have similar things in Norway, but we don't. So the students here are doing a, a better job in this respect. So oh, that's good to hear. Yeah. Did you like our event? Uh, yes, I love it. It's, it's really... Amazing. It's something that we should learn from you in Norway and many other countries. I'm not seeing this. I mean, this is common in Brazil in many universities, but I've never seen this in really in, in, in other places, other countries. And do you have any comments or suggestions to make for us? About the week? The yeah, the... yeah, about the event in general. Uh, it's, for me, it seems... Uh, Seems uh, pretty much perfect, especially with the field trip uh, of the last Saturday, is really kind of topping off the, the whole thing with what I think is important. I mean, there should always be a field component in, in geology. So um, I don't really have any suggestions. It it's, seems pretty perfect to me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, talking about field trips, you said on Wednesday that field trips are very interesting. Uh, when did you decide to study geology? Well, that, that was actually based on field experience, if you like, as a young, uh, as a teenager, I guess. Was, you know, you, know you, you wonder about things. You, I grew up in a place that has very little soil, lots of rocks around, and you know, wondering how did these rocks form? Uh, what, what's, what's the name of the minerals that they are made up of and, and things like that. So it was curiosity based on observations out in, in, in the field. And did you have that adventurous spirit of climbing rocks, climbing mountains and descending into volcanoes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't have any volcanoes in, <laughs> in the area, but yes, outdoors activities has always been, attracted me. Yeah. I guess all the geologists has this spirit of field trips and studying outside the classroom. I think so. I think that's, uh, that's an important uh, component of becoming a geologist. It should be like that. And please tell me, why did you join the university? Yeah, well, it's not so hard to answer. I was 
I was working for uh, the Norwegian oil company, Stat Oil, for a number of years. Um, and that was uh, interesting and, uh, and fine. Um, but I was missing the freedom to kind of uh, let my research go in the direction that seemed right or to me. I mean, um, the university has that freedom. It gives you that freedom. You, you get uh, less money, but more freedom. So that's, that's, that's fine. Um, you, can, you can work with the people that you work with well. You can work on things that interest you. And if you work on things that you find interesting, then you do a better job, I think. So for me, that made a lot of sense. So when there was an opening at the university, I applied for, for the position. So you like what you do inside the university? Yes, I, I love what I do, so, and that's very important. <laughs> um, not just in research, do you like teaching? Do you like <laughs> all the students? Yes, I, I like this combination of research and teaching. And, uh, this is also very important, that the teaching should be research-based, that you involve the students in teaching, and you, you pull the research into the classroom and, and get students uh, involved in thinking in terms of research and not only reproducing things, that's, that's kind of boring. Were you inspired by a teacher, maybe something related to research or teaching? I've been inspired, inspired by many people. I don't, uh, I don't um, have any specific names. I think I've just picked uh, inspiration from many, many places. There's not one or two people that I can, I can uh, pull out. During your academic life, you had two sabbatical years. Yes, two years when I didn't have to, uh, to teach in, at my university, and I was allowed to, to leave my university to join other universities. And I'm, I'm having one of those years right now here in Brazil. And before, I have spent year, two years in, in the US, in Utah, doing research and other things. What I did was, uh, before, was I spent one of the years, at least, I spent a lot of time basically writing the textbook. Or, and um, the other thing was to do research on, uh, on sandstone deformation and deformation of sedimentary rocks. Were there any specific reason to, to choose Brazil and the US? Uh, Brazil is exciting. We have a collaboration with Brazil that we initiated uh, three to four years ago. Um, and and that, that uh, collaboration primarily with, uh, with uh, USP and, and uh, then also with Werchi uh, in Rio de Janeiro has, uh, has just evolved. And you know, when you see things, you get curious. And, and uh, I want to learn more about the geology of Brazil. So you said about writing books. Do you plan to write another book? It's, uh, it's tempting. You learn a lot from writing books like that. Uh, at the same time, it takes a lot of time to do that. It takes an amazing amount of time. So yes, I, I have plans to, to write another book, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Together with another professor uh, on uh, plate tectonics. But if it's going to materialize in the end, I, um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, let's wait to see. Exactly. Are you working on another project in Brazil? Can you tell me more about it? Yes, um, I've been here for a couple of months, um, we, um, but we had some collaboration from before. So we, one of the projects is to look at uh, the rift, Cretaceous rift arm in the northeast, I guess, called the Tocano Rift, Tocano Basin, and uh, do some work there. We have a student, uh, OSP student, working, starting to work there. And that's, uh, that's a small rift basin, and I have uh, done quite a bit of work on the North Sea Rift, so this is kind of a parallel thing, looking at how the sediments in the rift were deformed, how the basement structures influenced the evolution of the rift, and uh, trying to learn a little bit about that. Uh, you chose this because this is something we have just here in Brazil, here it is, it is easier to see. Uh, it's um, in the North, the North Sea Rift where I have worked, uh, the whole rift is offshore, 
So you have to look at seismic data and well information, which is, which is great. So this is something different. You can actually go in the field and uh, touch the rocks, and that, that's great. So that's one project. Uh, and then the, I am uh, starting to do work um, along the orogenic belt, along the east coast, the Ibera belt primarily, uh, which is another parallel to, to Norway and Scandinavia where we have the Caledonian belt. And uh, one of the things I'm doing, I think it's natural to do, is to compare what we have in Norway, the, the way that the orogen formed there, and the way that the orogen here in Brazil, in eastern Brazil formed, there are some similarities, there are some differences, and it's interesting to study those uh, differences and similarities. So, the last thing I would like to know, what fascinates you most in Brazil? Uh, about the geology, uh, it's... Um, well, one thing is that uh, geology hasn't... There's so much geology to, to explore, that's one thing. Such a big country, uh, and so many things that needs to be done. Um, and the fact that it's big, it's, you have a very big orogenic pan-African Brasileiro system uh, that is, is very fascinating with several continents uh, uh, that moved and we don't know exactly how they moved and what happened. And so there, there's a lot, uh, a lot of that. And also this, this enormous uh, continental margin, you know, from the opening of the Atlantic and all that history, there's, it's, the, the whole picture is, is, is so big uh, that, you know, it gets very, very fascinating. <laughs> oh, it was a pleasure talking to you. I hope you enjoyed Brazil. I hope you, <laughs> you maybe come back one day uh, here in another Geology Week. Uh, do you want to say something more? No, I usually say uh, something. I, I've been very happy to be here, sign a lot of books. Sometimes I write, uh, study hard, uh, enjoy structural geology. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's good also to, to make sure that, you know, everybody studying geology, spend enough time in the field, observing, uh, relaxing a little bit and making sketches and just let the geology kind of get into your, your mind in a soft and nice way. <laughs> okay, thank you. Então, essa foi a entrevista com o Mr. Fossen. Espero que vocês tenham gostado. Caso vocês tenham perdido alguma coisa da Semana da Geologia, confiram aqui no canal, tem um monte de palestra gravada. E fiquem atentos às novidades da 11ª Semana da Geologia. Aguardo vocês ano que vem.